Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue our campaign as the Jews. The sound that we talked about before is still here. Oh, wow. Chief Blush of Tumen is declared Chief Blush Tumen's War of Community on Console. Okay, and what's interesting to me, though, is that uh, apparently the Shah of Persia is defending this guy. I thought you were supposed to be Zoroastrian. Ah, uh, the religion of your land is that, but uh, apparently this guy is a Sunni, and so we are defending against the Safarids already. Now, I'll take my 7,000 men against theirs. I feel like that's pretty good. I, I think we can do it, because they're not going to be able to combine their army in time. Of course, to replace a roof, you just beat on it. You just smack it and make loud noises. Loud noises! That's how you do it. Um, we do have negative income, so I'm going to want to get in here, crush his army, maybe assault his capital, and force him to surrender, because we can't hire more mercenaries. Well, we, we could hire a tiny group, but they wouldn't stick around for long. <laughs> I just, I'm... Okay, this is the last video I'm going to record, I think, because this is, this is a weird noise. We'll go ahead and assault this one, just to take the capital. And then we'll allow these to slow siege because... I'll pay. Train me, please. Improve my martial score. We want more troops. Now where did your army go, old man? 5,000 men, somewhere. There doesn't appear to be any good territory to defend in here, so it's just going to be an open field battle. And if he does combine his army with this stack of five, then we're looking at a, a ten stack, and it's going to be very difficult. Alright, so we've improved our martial score. Excellent. Improving intrigue seems like a reasonable second step. Still no idea where his army is. Let's see if we can use this trick. Yeah, so he's leading troops in Merv. Which is in the mountains. So he might appear. My training continues. So even though the ambition's gone, that event is still firing as a series. Still in Merv. He could just be camped out there, just hiding in the mountains. The AI was improved. They had some guy from the EU4 AI, I think, redo the CK2 AI. Another independence faction pop up, kind of annoying. Quasimodo is leading the charge here. He wants to become Marshal. Why don't we just go ahead and make Quasimodo into Marshall, so that he's a happy person. Quasimodo, I'll even give you nothing else. Hey, a tithe, how opportunistic. Uh, uh, how opportune, rather. Now, there's a lot of money to be sieged here, so let's go ahead and go to Samarkand. It's steppe, so it's like desert, plains. Are you involved in, like, another war or something? Are you just not paying attention to the fact that you're losing your lands? He's just still hanging out in Merv. Now he's coming to Bukhara. And now he's going to go back to Kiva. Well, I would rather ad address his army now, rather than wait for the army of Persia to come and help. So, let's, um... June 11th, June 20th. Let's let him get to Kiva. And then we'll go fight him. We might even be able to end the war if this battle goes really well. Because it's going to be a huge battle. We'll get a ton of war score from it. And his, you know, he'll, he'll be very likely to want to surrender. Making sure, of course, we have the absolute best commanders that we can. Not a big fan of experimentality, but he's got 17 marshals, so we'll take him. 
And we'll go down to speed two. I really want to watch this battle. Okay, so it's step combat. So we have no, no modifiers for anybody. We're on top. Uh, we got, we're doing the shield wall tactic, the feint tactic, and the volley versus, you know, likewise stuff. We have less, fewer horse archers than they do. No one has any heavy cav. We have lots of heavy infantry compared to them. And lots of archers compared to them. So we have an overall just basically a big advantage in archers and in heavy, heavy infantry. So let's hope that things go well. What's our experimentality guy doing? Of course, experimentality combat modifier negative 18. It's always negative. I hate experimentality. It's such a dumb thing. They need to balance it so that experimentality can go as high as two times damage and as low as negative one times damage. Not as high as two times and as low as negative two times or whatever, you know. You see what I mean though? Like it should skew towards positive. It shouldn't just be completely random. It just makes the trait terrible. And now it's negative 47.9. Amazing. And we have a grandson with a lisp. I have apparently become Roth. Looks like we're just dominating, though. We're just slaughtering them. Minor flanking bonus here. And bonus against slow advance, flanking, and regular flanking. Actually, no, they're both, both flanking bonuses. Yeah, that was, we just slaughtered them. And we captured some dude. And we can study organization. As a... What? I'm a Midas touch and you're going to let me pick up traits? Sweet. I'll take it. Take movement speed, of course. We captured some dude in prison, so let's see if we can ransom anybody. Oh, we got your wife. Only 26% war score from that, but we'll ransom his wife back. And let's hope that we can do just as well against the army of Persia when it shows up. Maybe even obliterate the remainder of this before they get here. Alright, so where are you? He's in Bjordland. He's defending against me, but he's also defending against a civil war, so he's a little bit occupied. Which is great. That will give me time to, to kill the rest of his army, and then go siege his, cap his other primary holdings. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen this event before, I'm sorry. So I can no longer be honest. Which is fine, we just gained a bunch of intrigue. And now we can pick up Diplomacy as an ambition. My son needs an educator. Um, kind of okay with, you know, military education. Let's do that. Military uh, just seems like a really good, good thing to do. Because our Jewish man, there he is. That's the one. This will be a slaughter, of course. Combat is much, much more efficient and more brutal now. You just really clean up armies quickly. Independence faction doesn't appear to be too big. Not a big problem. And with the extermination of the most, you know, the majority of his remaining army, I think we'll probably see him surrender now. Although that's the army of Persia right there. And it's only 5,500 men. We could maybe kill it. Which would cause all kinds of turmoil in the Safarid kingdom. Which would be good for me, because we need to attack into it. Well, we don't need any of it, but we need to get down through it. This way. Oh god, I swear that noise. This one's actually pretty defensive. But this one has a much higher county income. Or it did, at least. So I think we'll just hang out here. He's going to go take care of his own problems. He's not even going to help. And apparently we can pick up some more tech. You know, we really haven't been doing too much with our spy master. Let's go spy. 
for technology. Castle infrastructure seems good. Town infrastructure seems good. Um, let's check. The vast majority of our troops in our castles are heavy. So I think we want to just upgrade our heavy infantry. Yeah, we'll just we'll just kind of top them all off. I want them to start spreading. And we'll go back up to speed four and just allow this to happen. My steward, the ambitious man, is trying to fabricate a claim. Stop it. Ambitious characters always try to cause problems. And looks like the AI is re-raising, so that's a good sign. That means we're about to win. I'm so glad that we picked up the organizer trait. I hope this character lives a long time. That'll make it so, so much simpler to chase down armies and to really move around. Oh, okay, so he is actually coming up here. Looks like he ended his civil war. Now he's trying to take back the capital. So I'm just going to siege through these subholdings. The city, the mosque, the city. Probably leave that last castle alone. I want the money from this, and he's not going to siege through there before I can take these, these other two. Castles take so much longer to siege. He's only getting 7% a month, and I'm getting 10%. Plus, even if he takes it back... After we win the battle, I'll just get to siege it again, which gives me even more money. Oh, and his, his dad just died. We've got a weak 15-year-old. Not willing to surrender yet. I feel pretty confident about this upcoming battle, though. I could even consider putting myself in charge, but I don't think we need to. Yes, I am definitely taking a break from recording for a while. This, the background noise, if you can't hear it, then I just sound like a crazy person right now, but it's just absolutely insane. It's like there's somebody outside with a, a drill, and they're just drilling on steel or something. Just, just making this stupid noise over and over and over again. I don't know what, I just, ugh. I don't like things I don't understand. Wow, he's got 24 Marshall. The possessed military man, unyielding. Whoa! Did it say what I thought it said? Plus 66% morale defense? Jeez. So that's a brick wall of morale. We are on top and we are actually losing! We lost! No! Don't lose! We did lose. We lost badly. Retreat! Run away! Negative 41% war score. Oh crap. Um, okay, well, it's time to raise some more mercenaries, I think. We clearly can't lose this war. Oh god, they're all light infantry. They're so bad. You have to pay 180 gold for a horde of light infantry. They're just terrible. Beshenig Company. Okay, I say we just, we rebat, we, we go back, we release and re-raise, and we'll have more men. I'm going to put myself in charge now, and maybe we'll be able to run away, 15th. Yeah, we can actually just run away. Let's just get out of here. You're not going to get me. And we're going to wait until we have... Well, we actually do have all of our morale back. Maybe we should just attack him again. Could have just been some unfavorable stuff. On the other hand, I could... Um, I think we do. We're going to release. Re-raise. 
There's 700 men in our capital that we can pick up if we fight there. So let's gather the troops together up here. Our personal domain troops will be raised with 100% morale, so we can just manually re-raise these guys. So we'll wait for these armies to combine. Hopefully we can do it before he actually sieges my county and I lose those 350 men. And siege events appear to be knocking down his army size. I don't want to bribe you right now. That's fine. We go down to large large city taxes. It's not a big difference in overall annual income. These guys are fortunately not coming towards us, so yes, we need these men. August 24th. Alright, so I don't actually want to lead the troops myself. But I do want to go and fight him now. So we'll be there on the 22nd. Slow down, slow down. Once the battle starts, we click on the barony and raise our levy directly. We're not going to raise these ones because they would have no morale and actually hurt the overall average morale, but yeah, now it's 4,700 to 2,700. I apparently did end up leading troops because I raised my troops directly. So hopefully we don't die in combat here, but um, what is the tactic we're using? The volley harass tactic. Somehow he's down to... Oh wow, he did the... Uh, he, he did his thing. This flank has a choke point. Only 488 men can fight at the same time on each side. That's really good for him. Oh, look at that. He's wounded and incapable. We beat him up. That battle cost him a lot. And yet he's still fighting somehow. <laughs> good riddance. Uh, try to make a charitable. Now we're flanking him. Excellent. 270% automatically. Normally you have to have a double flank to get it, but if the center flank gets routed, you get it automatically. So we're going to just beat the crap out of him. There we go. Very nice. Back up to speed four, I think. And we'll chase his army down and go re-siege that stuff, and we'll win our war. That negative 40%, though, wow. Hmm. I think we just go fight his army real quick. And I don't want to play the chase him around game, so we'll go ahead and lead troops. It's dangerous, but I'd rather just catch him. Because if we kill his, his army and his ally has no army, he might just surrender. And... I think we just stay here. Okay, I'm going to take a break here, and in the next video, Jewland will get bigger! Yay! Thanks for watching, everybody. See you again soon.